Pat love with Pat's two cents. You know, the Bible says, how can two walk together unless they be agreed? If you're in agreement with a person who plays with the dark side, you are inadvertently opening your door to demonic strongholds, to demonic influences. Listen, there are people that you may know who are interested, who toy, who, t who t tinker, who play with Ouija boards, with tarot cards, psychics, the whole nine yards. And they pay this money and they, they get all into this stuff. And they try to bring it to you and try to push it on you like a drug dealer. You know what, baby? You better cut that person loose like they are a disease. Because every time you let that person into your house, you're also allowing the demons that accompany them to come into your house as well. And sometimes when the person leaves, the demons don't. They don't have to. You've given them legal right to be there. There's so many ways. Some of you men are really hooked on pornography. You may have children. You may have just family members, you know, whoever they are. You may have issues in your life. What you are doing is giving demonic influences permission to harass you, permission to bring curses upon you, to try to attempt to curse the things that are in your life that pertain to you, your business, I mean, whatever your relationship, and your marriage. You have to be very careful who you hang with. You have to be very careful what you allow yourself to listen to. Certain conversations you need to just stay away from. This is not a matter of fear. This is a matter of wisdom. If you are in the company, this is an example. If you're in the company of a fool, I mean, a show enough F-O-O-L. And that fool is always starting fights and getting into knock down drag amounts. And you keep company with them. One day, his, friend, his enemies will become yours. And because they saw you with them, who knows? You might be jumped in the middle of the night. And you don't even know who these people are or what it's about. Why? Because of who you hung with. You, if you're hanging with the wrong one, if you are, uh, you, you know, there's an old expression my mother used to use. If you lay down with dogs, you will get up with fleas. You watch who you hang with. Because if they keep a, a barrage, a company, um, an entourage of demons in their lives, yeah, you can best believe those demons are going to try to wiggle their way into yours. You be careful who you hang with. You may have to cut some friendships loose in a very cold and absolute manner. Think about that.